Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. So in the previous video we worked with the admin area. So if I log out here and let's log in as admin, we have the admin example, other password and hit enter. Okay, now we are as admin here. As you can see, we have also this uh, link to navigate the admin area and here we display all the posts we have in our project. Good, we can create a new post, but what I want to do in this video is to work with this edit and delete button. Okay, so let's open the VS Code and let's open the show blade inside the post and here we have the link, the edit and also the delete. Here we have a form, so I'm going to copy this form first and now let's open the index page inside the admin. So resources, views, admin, index. Okay, and here we have the edit and delete. Remove and just add the delete for now. We are going to change the route to be uh, admin, dash post, then destroy, method, post, and we overwrite here to say delete. And then also let's go and copy the link to edit. To copy that and paste it here. Let's save uh, to close this. Let's save and let's see now how it's going to look. Oh, yeah, we don't have the route admin delete post delete. And also let's change this to be admin dot post dot edit. And let's open the web routes and create the two routes. Now we have this route get admin using the admin controller and I'm going to use also the admin controller for the edit and delete the post. But if you have more resources, we can create separate controller, for example, for the post admin or, or let's create that here. So I'm going to open a new instance and let's say artisan make call the controller and I'm going to name it admin post controller okay hit enter and now that is created let's register the routes route let's zoom a little bit so route to get and let's say slash admin slash post a single post and we need the edit and here we are going to use the admin post controller class okay and the name is going to be admin post edit here we just need to say edit i'm going to copy and paste this three times this one now is going to be a put request and just the slash admin slash post slash the post ID. We're going to use the update method here. And the name of the route is going to be admin post update. Then the last one is going to be for the delete. So the method is going to be delete admin post passing the single post the method here is going to be destroy okay and the route name is going to be destroy okay so admin post destroy okay here we need to add this in the array and we need to use comma. Okay, the same thing for this one and for the last one here. Good, let's use that. Let's save and let's come here now. Yeah, we have something like this. Just let me fix the, on the index. We have px 
6 and py4 i'm going to add a flex and space x2 let's save this and now we have something like this okay so zoom it a little bit good now if i click edit we navigate the slash admin slash pause one edit but we don't have this edit method on the admin post controller let's go and create that open the post controller so admin post controller and we need three methods here the first one so public function edit here we need the post dollar sign post then we have the update okay and then we need also the destroy method good let's work with the edit here i'm going to return a view admin post edit passing the post here let's save and let's create that view inside the resources admin here I'm going to create a new directory saying name in post and there a new file edit.blade.php okay and what I'm going to do I'm going to go to post and go to edit select all here copy and paste it to this one uh, yeah we need to make some changes so first here I'm going to say admin post edit page the method post action is going to be admin dot post dot update okay and we have here admin post update pass in the post id and i think we are good there let's change this your message but because i have forgot to do that this is the content and i think we are good save close and let's see now if i refresh here yeah admin post edit page we have the post so we can update that the update we need to go to controller admin post controller and on the update we need to do the same thing we have done also on the post controller on the update method so let's go down there and copy this paste here now the gate authorizer I'm going to remove because I'm going to protect the route all the routes belong to the admin I'm going to protect that so we are okay and return to admin dot index okay i think we have named index or just admin just admin we have named and let's save now for the destroy we need only to destroy that so post delete and return to route admin i think we are good now let's go and try let's come here a refresh admin post number one i'm going to say up update and we have here admin post number one up this is not a post from the admin but we can say this is updated say update and now we have this is updated we can delete for example this one let's say delete and this is deleted now if i log out as admin and i'm going to register okay yeah here we have protect that so we can also navigate manually and we have protection so if i say edit good but what if i go to admin post edit and as you can see we can edit so we need to protect that and let's open the web routes here we have all the admin routes i'm going to 
cut them and say out middleware. Paste that in. We need to close this first and let's save. Now the middleware is not can admin, but the middleware is is admin. Okay, so is admin we have applied on the slash admin just now. We're to remove from here, which means all the routes inside here is protected but by this uh, is admin middleware. Now if I come here, you can see we have this action is unauthorized, only the admin user can visit the edit, delete and uh, update posts. I'm going to log out and let's log in with admin. Now if I go to admin, okay if I edit, yeah because I am admin. Okay friends, that's it all about uh, this video. I hope you enjoy and if you like such a videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.